can draw the sun or the stars and the moon. I can draw anything. How about you? Ready, set, draw! Hi, I'm Dan Yaccarino, and I am the author and illustrator of this book, The Longest Storm. And there are just so many emotions going on in this book that I thought it would be a lot of fun for us to learn how to draw some emotions very, very simply. And we all have emotions like we're happy or we're sad or we're afraid or we're angry and all sorts of different things that we experience. And so that's what I would like to do with you guys today. So ready, set, draw. Today I am going to use a marker, but you can use anything you want. Crayon, pencil, pen, anything at all. First, let's draw a head. Very simple, like I said. And maybe we'll have some ears. And the ears sort of look like the letter C. One going the right way and one going the opposite way. Let's go for the eyes and let's see if you can guess what emotion this is. No clues yet, really. Let's give them a nose. And tell me what you think this is. Ah, are they happy? They are pretty happy. And so let's fill some in. A little detail on the ears there. neck and the shirt and that's really a very simple way to draw a happy person. So what is it about this drawing that tells you that they're happy? Well I think it's their mouth that also looks like a C and their eyebrows that also look like C's and so usually with this combination we can tell that this person is very very happy. All right, let's draw another emotion. So again, let's start off with that roundish shape, that oval shape. And again, we'll put in the eyes. And I just really want to put those ears in here. It's the way that I do them. And so now we're going to have the nose. And so, does this person have an expression yet? Are they feeling sort of any emotions that you can see? I don't think so. So let's draw the mouth. It's pretty sad, right? But if you do this, they're no longer sad. What are they? They're angry. This is an angry person. He is one angry and if you really want to make him angry, uh, he is one angry person. So what is it about this drawing that tells you that he's angry? Could it be these eyebrows that go in? Could it be the downward? line of the mouth, teeth. Those are all sort of the little clues that this person is angry. Man, this guy's mad. Look at that. That is one angry dude. And the eyes are still just small circles. The ears also, again, the, uh, the two C's. But now you see that there's different, you know, this is the C going this way and these are sharp lines. And so all these things put together would tell me that this is an, a very angry person. And this nose is different from the other nose that we drew. And so this nose is pretty straight and pointy and it either looks like a backwards L or a sort of a flipped around seven, but it's very sharp. See this, how sharp it is? Okay, let's draw another emotion. Start off with our circle again. And now, let's show those eyes. Again, 
two circles, very simple. Give this person some ears. Very, very simple so far. And can we tell what this person is feeling? Not yet, not yet. It's the nose and there's that, that downward line that we talked about. And remember when we were drawing anger, where the lines were like this, pointed in? How about if we do the opposite and point them out? How do you think this person is feeling right now? They're sad. They're very sad. And how do we know that they're sad? Because of these very few lines. The mouth is, is going down. The eyebrows are both going up. So this is one sad person. And we'll give them some hair and very unhappy. And his mouth, as you can see, is curved downward. And so that really is a big clue for us to tell what this person is feeling and they're feeling sad. Let's draw another one. A big circle. And we'll start with the eyes again. Okay. And ears. And we will draw the nose. There's a nose. And now. Look at this, this looks like one of the eyeballs, except a little bit bigger. And the eyebrows are up and they're curved. This will be fun. And here are some lines for hair. And, and I'm going to give her curly pigtails because that's always fun. And now here she is, a little, and we'll give her some freckles. There. Now, what is she feeling? I would say that she's feeling pretty surprised. And how do we know that? Her mouth is open, oh, and her eyebrows are up. And these are all clues to show what she's feeling. And you see how her mouth is in the shape of a circle, just like her eyes just like her head. So we repeat shapes over and over and over again. And so let's take a look at how these emotions are shown in the book. So let's look at this, like his mouth is going up, just like in, in our drawings. And so his mouth is going up, it shows that he's very, very happy. And we can see how happy he is here by the fact that his arms are outstretched, his eyes are closed, and he's cheering, yes, I won the game. So that's what's going on in this image. And so let's find angry. This is pretty angry. And again, his, his eyebrows are going in very, very much so. His eyes are very big and his mouth is really wide open because he's not only angry, but he's yelling. And he's kind of had enough. And so that's how we can tell that this person is angry also with the colors as well. It's orange and red and yellow. Those colors show anger or at least extreme emotion. And, and this man is not happy and he's very, very angry. All right, so let's talk about the other emotion that we drew, which was sadness. And so here is the family and it's late at night and they're all crammed into the same bed together. And notice how their mouths are going down in the corners. Everyone has a very similar upside down U shape for their mouths, just like in our drawings. And they're unhappy. And so this, again, is a very simple drawing, but it shows a very, very deep emotion. And so now, this is something that you can download from the link below. And I put together a, a fun worksheet for everyone to practice drawing emotions. And you can see that there's a lot of different emotions here and happy and 
sad, and surprised, angry, and even, my favorite, silly. And so there are blank spaces here for you guys to draw different emotions and, and learn how to do it, as, again, as simply as possible. So let's try one. We can use this. And I created this worksheet so you can learn how to draw emotions too. This person is happy. And I'd love to see how you draw emotions, and I'd love for you to share them using the hashtag ready, set, draw. I had so much fun today, and I hope you did too. And I will see you all very, very soon.